Let me take a moment to pray for your year 2024. Father, I thank you for the gift of the year 2024 and all that you have in store for your sons and your daughters. Father, I thank you for the doors that you're opening even now that no man can shut. Father, I thank you for the breakthroughs that you've already set in motion. Many will be able to testify that the God who answers prayer met me in the year 2024. Many will testify that the God who restores, restored me in the year 2024. Many will testify that the God who favors, favored me. Many will be able to say that the God of rec- reconciliation met with me and reconciled some broken relationships in this brand new year I decree and declare that you will execute the things that you've been sitting on and you will be able to say that the God of dreams and visions brought my dreams and visions to pass in the year 2024 by this year's end you'll be able to testify that the year 2024 has been my best year thus far and it only gets better from here I plead the blood of Jesus over everyone under the sound of my voice I declare that no hurt harm or danger shall come near you or your dwelling in the year 2024. I bind the works of the enemy and I declare that no weapon fashioned against you will prosper not only for you but all concerning you, your family, your children, your entire bloodline, your dreams, your visions, your ministries, your businesses, even the things yet to come. I decree and declare that it is well all year long. Father, I thank you for hearing this prayer and I thank you for answering it in Jesus name. Amen. Hey sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you like vlogs, makeup, skincare, fragrance, real people, and real talk, definitely subscribe to my channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed our morning prayer, sending blessings and love you guys this way. I'm getting ready to put my coffee away, so I wanted to show y'all my new coffees I got. I cannot believe I am a coffee girly now. Like, can y'all believe it? I think I'm just... Mm, bringing back something that my dad really loved i don't know even though he didn't like all these fancy coffees girl he was a maxwell house man okay and he put some cream and sugar in his and kept it moving okay but i i am loving like the keurig i think i love the keurig app so much because of all the recipes you can do like i love that um the other day i made um a, like an oatmeal cookie coffee like it was so freaking good speaking of oatmeal cookies when was the last time y'all seen oatmeal raisin cookies in the uh, store? Because I'm looking for them and I can't find them. Oatmeal raisin cookies. Why are they not in the store? That was my favorite. Where are they? Like, girl, I was looking for them the other day. Could not find them. Like, I don't understand. But anyway, I'm about to put my coffees up. Let me show y'all all my cute little coffees I got. So these are our new coffees. So we got Snickers, which is my favorite candy bar. If I had to choose a favorite, that would be my favorite. Then we got brown sugar crumble, cinnamon honey drizzle, and a Cinnabon. So yeah, I'm getting ready to put these away. And if y'all got some Keurig flavors that y'all really, really love, now I'm, I'm just a light roast girl, okay? I can't do medium and dark roast yet because baby when i be running to the bathroom like forrest gump mm -mm, i can't do it but i'm cool with the light roast my stomach done got used to it and yeah i don't be i don't have to run like flojo to the bathroom no more but i can't do medium and dark roast yet girl mm -mm. so i'm gonna stay right on right here i'm gonna just sit right here so let's put these away and then we need to make um dinner so i'm gonna go ahead and prep dinner and we'll do all of that so I've been loving this vanilla coffee. This is really good. This tastes like you already put your creamer and sugar or whatever you put in there to sweeten yours up. It tastes like you already put it in there. It's good. Um, these are the iced coffees right here. So I have two different iced coffees. I've got cookies and caramel. That one is good. And this one is the mocha cafe frappe. So yeah, I've been enjoying those. This I have definitely been loving this by Intamins. This is the coconut cream pie. That one tastes really good, especially how I make it. Like I said, that's why I like the Keurig because you can, um, I like the recipes. <laughs> that's basically what I like. And I've been loving the caramel apple pie. Um, cause I've been making different kinds of coffees with this. I think I use this to make that one I like. It's called the, um, the oatmeal cookie coffee something like that and i use this to make it and y'all it's so good we've got so much history baby maybe maybe you and i were meant to be maybe i'm crazy we used to roll at the rink we used to roll at the rink i used to talk way too much you used to know everything You couldn't stand me I couldn't stand you You said I'm steady playing But you steady playing too 
Your big brother footwork Your place is the juke The rink was the place but in that space and time I was too young for you As you are for me To worry about fruities and truths Till I find out all of the shorties with cooties was cute And realize what booties can do We gon' get it poppin' We gon' get it jukin' We gon' throw a party And we ain't gotta do shit You came with your best friend Came up for the weekend I'm out here with your party So tell me what you think And say we gon' have a juke jam We gon' have a juke jam We can have a party Just listening to music Like we used to do I get close to you I remember you You used to I remember you Cause we've got so much history, baby I might just hit it door for up. That's how my element. I like dark skins. Love a melanin. Talk, crush a nigga talk. When I'm stepping in. 30 bottles up the soon till I'm cinnamon. I had the Lambo. Switch to the Bobby. I'm a gangster, but I like to party. Pop a perky. Go retarded. I'm a broken nigga. I'm cold hearted. That's why I like the back end. Like Riri. Every time she sees me, she wanna eat me. I saw like Justin B. Please believe me. I said, wow. I'm on the TV. I can't fuck with broke bitches. They be creepy. She be acting up. She always tryna leave me. But she a bad girl and she freaky. I have her hanging up a wall like she need me. I never had a bitch more than once 'cause they be leeches. But her pussy good. It tastes like peaches. But she can have it. I don't need it. I'd rather have my money green like kiwi. I don't talk to niggas 'cause they be capping. Disrespect me and see what happen. I don't make a call for boy start snapping. But it's blasting. All the ops mad that I like them. He said we're stacking. Nothing but my money. Remember my pockets flat. Now they chunky. I ain't a pretty boy, but I ain't ugly. And I take your bitch in a second. If she a real one, then I'll protect it. Traded the AP, tore my jewel up to take it. And it's all BBS and flower settings. I might just hit it through. Hold on, that's on my element. I like dark skins, love a melanin. Talk, push a new talk when I'm stuck in there. Throw these bottles up the zoo till I'm sentiment. I had the Lambo, switch to the Bobby. I'm a gangster, but I like to party. Pop a break it, go retarded. I'm a broken nigga, I'm cold hearted. Hey y'all, it's another day in the vlog. I am sitting here at the kitchen table because this is where I work Monday through Thursday because this is the only way I'm gonna get my nine to five job done, honey. Because if I'm upstairs in that beauty room, ain't nothing getting done, okay? I'm gonna be planning skincare, makeup, and fragrances, and ain't nothing getting done. So I'm just sitting here doing my work. It's almost lunchtime, but not quite. Having my little drink in my Stanley Cup. Let's talk about this Stanley Cup, okay? Because I was going to do a favorite faves, monthly faves and fails video. If y'all still want me to do that, let me know. But I think I'm going to just start throwing that type of stuff in vlogs. Like, because, you know. Um, But yeah, this Stanley Cup here. Nah, I bought two of them because the Stanley Cup craze was just going crazy for a long time. And then I finally decided to jump on the bandwagon and bought two of them. And I ain't gonna hold y'all. I ain't need this cup. I ain't need this cup at all. Now let me tell you something. I do like how big it is. I like the size of it and all of the things. Um, but I did do a little test to see how it compares to my Yeti cup and my towel cup. And girl, it wasn't doing nothing no different. It wasn't doing nothing no different at all. But I do like the size of it. It's cute. And you know, you got a Stanley cup and you know, just all the vibes. But I ain't buying no more Stanley cups. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Um, but I do like the cup. So it's like a fave and uh not a fail, but I ain't need it. But what I will say too about this, and I know Stanley Cup ain't watching this, but let's talk about it. Okay, so this is a Stanley Cup. We know this is a $45 cup, okay? 45 dual hairs, okay? Now, I'm right-handed, like most people in the world, okay? We got our lefties out there, love my lefties, um, but girl, I'm right-handed like most of the world, right? So when I'm holding my Stanley Cup, I'm holding my Stanley Cup. Do you know this is a Stanley Cup? You don't know this is a Stanley Cup unless you know it's a Stanley Cup. Other than that, you don't know. The Stanley sign is facing me when I hold my cup. Need to know I got a Stanley Cup. I need everybody else to know I got a damn Stanley Cup, okay? If I'm a uh, Miss Susie Q and I'm walking to the bus stop with my children, and I see Sarah May over there, honey, and I'm walking, got my little Stanley Cup. <laughs> I want her to know I got a damn Stanley Cup, and she don't know. Stanley, 
Put the damn Stanley sign on both sides of the damn cup. I don't need to know I got a Stanley cup. I know I got a Stanley cup. Everybody else needs to know I got a damn Stanley cup. Shit. All that money I done spent. And I see all the girlies trying to act like they left-handed. They all ho holding it like this with their left hand. Girl, you ain't left-handed. You ain't even left-handed. I don't know why you trying to hold it with that hand. You're trying to show everybody you got a Stanley Cup, right? I know, girl. That's what I'm saying. Like, duh, Stanley, all this damn money we spent on this cup. If you don't put that logo on both sides, shit, it need to be stamped all over the damn thing. And no matter how many how what way I try to put this damn top on, the Stanley thing is not in the front when I hold it in my normal, regular right hand that I use. <sighs> Anywho, so yeah, I'm sitting here drinking out of my little Stanley cup. Like it's even uncomfortable because the damn straw all the way over here. Like look, I gotta go, I gotta do, go all the way over here. Like why it ain't right here? Like girl, I bet I don't buy another damn Stanley cup. I bet I don't. Anyway. I just finished watching Love is Blind season finale. Let's talk about it. Now, here's the thing. If you ain't watched it, the season finale yet, girl, just go on and skip this part. It's going to be long, though, because y'all know I'm finna talk about it. Girl. Okay, first of all, I have not watched Love is Blind since season one. Because after it first came out and we saw what the concept was, and we was like, oh, that's so cute, you know, la, 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 la. But after that, I kind of really didn't care anymore. You know what I'm saying? And I really didn't hear much about Love is Blind after that. But this season six here got the girls in an uproar. I was like, oh, well, let me watch it. So I started being binge watching it up until probably like the second to last episode came out or whatever. Baby, this was a good season. I ain't gonna hold you because some things, some things was happening. Okay, so let's start with the lightweight stuff and then we're gonna go into, then we're gonna go into, oh, I need something on my hands, honey. Ashley, Larry. I got this Glyton um, exfoliating. I think this, yeah, this is an exfoliating um, lotion for your body. But I've been using it on my hands, and I have really been liking it lately. What is it about retinol body retinol products? They are so hard to rub in. I don't care what brand it is, who made it. If it's got retinol and it's a body product, it is so hard for me to rub it in. Like I hate that. This one ain't that bad, but it's still and it's thick as ever like it's so damn thick and for me i'll be having to add like an oil to it to get it on my body so my body has the sheen and it rubs in the way it's supposed to but with some of them retinol products it peels with oil um i did get a new one from coco kine and that one didn't peel but we'll talk about that in another video anyway let's get back to this love is blind baby so so we're gonna start with the lightweight stuff first and then we're gonna get to the heavy shit Okay, so, and it's going to be some choice words up in here. So, I know that some of y'all don't like cursing and all that. So turn the TV down. It's the cheering around or skip through this part, honey, because listen here. Now, first of all, let's talk about Amy and Johnny. That's the easy conversation. I think they're cute. They are cute. I'm glad they fell in love with each other and they are both not really what the other, like the other person's normal type. At least Johnny wasn't for Amy. Johnny, if he would have saw Amy, he would have been like obsessed with her, but he would have never approached her because he would have thought she was out of his league. And Amy would have never talked to Johnny because Johnny was a blonde hair, blue eye, and she's Hispanic, so she's used to darker skin, darker hair, and all of the things. So I get that. But they look really cute together. They do seem really happy together. And I hope they work through the whole, you know, birth control thing because she's never been on birth control. And She's 27, which is still very, very young. But sometimes, like, we don't want to... We I know I was on birth control back in the day. I was on the shot. I was on the patch, on the pill. I was on a whole bunch of shit. Because I was fertile damn myrtle. Okay, so... I had to be. But, um... But after I had my kids and stuff, like, I, I got off of it. Didn't really want to get back... No, I'm lying. I'm lying. I did get back on it. I mean, after I got to a certain age, I was like, I ain't, uh-uh, I'm about to get my tubes tied because that birth control ain't right. It just ain't right. It ain't no good for us, and it ain't. And sometimes people take birth control, and then it has an opposite effect because when they ready to start having kids, like, it's so hard for them to have kids because they done had this hormone in their body for so many years that, you know, prevented them from having kids. So that's, that's a whole other conversation. Anyway, but I hope they work through the birth control issue, and they seem really happy, and I think they little Hispanic, little blonde-haired baby's going to be cute. I really, really do. Really, really do. 
let's move on to Ken and Brittany. Um, I was hopeful for them at first. I thought they were cute. Um, I kind of felt like it was going to work at first because Brittany does seem like the type that she doesn't, she wouldn't mind marrying or dating a black man. You know what I'm saying? But based on her conversation towards the end, she probably likes a black man like Clay. Okay. And Ken just, he's not a Clay. And yeah, so I think that's what it was. But I do respect her for coming out. And she probably should have said it sooner, but maybe she was trying to figure it out you know what i'm saying but she you know ended up telling him that she wasn't physically or sexually attracted to him like she was in the pods so i get that and i respect that and i'm glad she didn't go on with the marriage just for the shows and the frills and all of that you know she told him you know i i i, I ain't attracted to you like that and i wish i was but it's just not there so i respect her for doing that and Ken seemed to have taken it, you know, very well. He seems very understandable and all of the things. But mm, Ken seems like he's gay to me. That's just to me. I don't know if he is. I don't know if he went through the experience to try to see if, you know, he just wanted to try to find love without seeing somebody. He's still trying to explore what he really likes. Um, he just hasn't come out yet or he just hasn't gone that way to try to see if that's what he likes. I don't know. He seems like he's like he's gay. I, that's just me in my opinion. Okay. So, yeah. But I'm glad they didn't, you know, I'm glad they broke it off the way they did. Wasn't no beef, wasn't no fight, wasn't no argument. That was great. Jeremy Lauren and Sarah Ann. <laughs> now, first of all, Sarah Ann ass was dead wrong, okay, for DMing that man after he done chose who he chose and got engaged and all that. Sarah Ann, you was dead wrong, okay? Sarah Ann, <laughs> yeah. But she seems like the type, though, if that makes sense. She seems like the type that would do some scandalous shit like that. Jeremy was dead wrong for all that i went out and sarah ann was there and we ended up talking in the car till 5 30 in the morning and i ended up taking her home i didn't go to her apartment da, 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 da. boy bye okay now he very well may not have you know went in there and they did anything or whatever i feel like I don't know if they lying or not, but it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter because at that point, it was nothing to talk about. He chose who he chose and that's it. All of the, the conversation and all of that, that, no, 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 no. And Laura was right. Like, break this shit off now because you ain't going to trust him after that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to trust him. You always going to feel like he messing around with Sarah Ann, talking to Sarah Ann on the side. And you're going to feel like he a liar. Like, you're not going to feel like he just was sitting there talking to her. And ain't nobody talking to nobody at no five, till no 5.30 in the morning about nothing. Like, y'all could have had that conversation over the phone if you felt deemed it damn show necessary that y'all had to have that conversation. But a face-to-face -to -face till 5.30 in the morning, like, get the fuck out of here. Like, mm -mm. So I'm glad Lauren, emptied, like, deaded that whole shit because she never would have been able to trust him and he seems like the type that he are always would have wished he would have explored Sarah Ann if that makes any sense but him and Sarah Ann just have a physical relationship physical connection like girl that ain't going nowhere y'all seen how Jeremy keep his apartment speak and damn span he has OCD to the 10th power all them uh what's them I robot little vacuums running around he had like two of them running around there like he has OCD to the fullest I respect it though I like how clean he is I really do but Sarah Ann ain't I, I, I don't see Sarah Ann being clean like that she seems very disheveled and all over the place like she just going in her room throwing clothes all over the place looking for something to wear to go to the bar and shit like that like sarah ann is not clean that relationship would have went no damn where all they would have been good for is screwing and that's it that's it that's it that's all girl that damn chelsea and jimmy child first of all jimmy knew damn well when she walked out that door and did not look like megan fox that he ain't like her okay he he knew right then and damn there he did not like her now, I didn't know what Megan Fox looked like, so I had to Google Megan Fox. 
And Chelsea, you is dead wrong. You don't look a damn thing like no damn Megan Fox. I don't know who these folks is out here lying to you, telling you you look like Megan Fox. And her friends confirmed it like the friends be telling her, that the other people be telling her she look like Megan Fox. Where? Where? Because she got blue eyes, honey? Because she looks nothing like freaking Megan Fox. The face, the body, the nothing. You are not Megan Fox, bitch. At all. At all. Y'all, Chelsea got on my nerves so bad. All that whining and howling. It was like she howled, howled the whole time when she, oh, you make me feel so sad and I just was so uncomfortable and I don't understand why you don't love me. And you're not, girl, shut the fuck up. Shut up. She was getting on my she was getting on my nerves. She was getting on my nerves. She was extremely insecure with herself. And I know a lot of women have insecurities or, or are insecure. But girl, she she just was... Ugh. Now, J Jimmy, he was wrong too. Because you knew you ain't like her, Jimmy. And I feel like Jimmy was trying to like trying to make himself love her like he like the more i spend time around her maybe i'll like her or love her or no no jimmy you knew damn well that you did not like that girl from jump especially after he seen jess he was like oh no oh no ma'am like because jess was beautiful but jimmy can't handle jess jess is too um too much of a woman for him period point blank dot com like she just was she was she you know is outspoken opinionated um she knows what she wants she knows what she needs and jimmy seems like he just wants somebody to be like chelsea for him but just look better than chelsea ass chelsea was clingy chelsea definitely was clingy and a clingy woman is unattractive it's very much so unattractive don't get me wrong like we all like to spend time with our man and be with our man and all of that but you sit up there crying about him going to his friend's birthday party for an hour and a half? An hour and a half? To his friend's birthday party? Like, calm the fuck on, Chelsea. Then she's sitting there lying, talking about, um, Mackenzie saw you and you were with Jess. And he like, when did she see me? Who She saw me with, like, she just lying, making up shit. Like, in her, all in her head. Like, girl, what the fuck is wrong with you? You like, you really got a, a sickness, an insecurity and a sickness. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy. Like, you just making shit up in your head. You tripping. And if you think any man is finna sit up under you 24-7, you got a whole nother thing coming in. Men got to go outside, okay? Men got to go to work. They have to make money, honey. You men, you have to be apart from your partner in order to miss them. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can't be in each other's ass all day. That is not even healthy. That's not healthy at all. You know what I'm saying? Now, I spend a lot of time with my man. But when my man need to go make money and do what he got to do and work and do all that, or he want to go hang out with his guys, go ahead, honey. Because when you come back home, I miss you even more. And I just... It's, it's, the vibes are there, you know what I'm saying? But anybody that's in anybody's face too much is is too much. She she was clingy. She absolutely was. And then when she did the whole um telling, you know, what he told her not to tell on camera about him sleeping with his friend, you know, before or whatever, she just put that all out there on camera. Like now he can't trust you. Jimmy was an asshole though. Don't I ain't trying to say I'm just team Jimmy because I ain't team Jimmy. Jimmy was an entire whole asshole. And I don't know who gonna be good for him, but Chelsea need to quit crying and go on and get Trevor's uh uh hair transplant ass. Y'all seen all that shit on his forehead and uh, girl and all in the girl Trevor was doing. He I don't know how much hair he felt like he needed. He already had a lot of hair, so I don't know, but. Yeah, but go back and get him, Chelsea, because he was what you want. He was the type of man that'd be kissing your feet and all in your face all day and all of that. And she even said, like, Trevor's more of the type that I would go for. You should have went for him because y'all make a better couple because you clingy and he seemed like he is too. So, yeah, like, they would have been a better couple. So, yeah, I know she was all in love with Jimmy and thought Jimmy was, like, the hottest guy on earth and all that, which Jimmy was not ugly. Don't you? Like, fire marks, BLT. Like, <laughs> I did not like Jimmy at all. He was not cute. He was not cute at all. Mm -mm, no, ma'am. So she need to quit crying and be like, fuck you, Jimmy. I'm going to get Trevor. Because Trevor is sitting there waiting on her ass. For sure. Anywho. Girl. The damn AD and mother fucking Clay. Your baby. Baby. If anybody wanted to jump through the TV and smack the fuck out of 
somebody, it was me, I'm her, she is me. I wanted to jump through the TV and smack Clay's ass down. Like, what the, what is wrong with you? Why did you do that to that girl? Why did you do that to that girl? You could have told her at the house that you did not want to get married. Like, why did you put her through all that? She got her family, her friends, she got on this dress, and she's just like knowing that it's y'all about to get married, and you do that to her? I was so mad. And then his mom and his daddy all pampering his punk ass, talking about, um, oh, we, oh, you know, it's okay, and we understand why you been, yeah, y'all probably understand why he made the decision, and that, and the decision he made, if that's how he felt, that's cool, but how you did that shit, his mama should have smacked the fuck out of him, like, boy, don't you ever do that to a woman, ever in your life, like, what is wrong with you, that was so wrong, I was so, so mad at him, I, I'm also, um, irritated with AD because she gotta work on her confidence, she always feels like she's not enough, like she's not good enough. It, I'm sure it came from past relationships and stuff like that. But women have to stop feeling like past relationships dictate their future, their present, and their future. You weren't, you feel like you weren't good enough because it didn't work out with Johnny and Brian and blah, blah, blah. You are good enough. You're more than enough. They wasn't shit. They didn't deserve you. And that's why God did not keep y'all together. You know what I'm saying? ad is a beautiful girl but she um i don't like how she downplays herself and she's kind of a little sensitive too like when they was talking about the gym and she was like yeah you know if i gain a little weight or whatever like would you tell me i had to go to the gym and he was like yeah i mean i'll tell you you should you know da, da, da. and she was like well don't talk to me like this that that's mean and like girl he acting like he said bitch get your fat ass in the gym like he ain't even say it like that like stop being so sensitive like you can't be so like so super sensitive i'm a sensitive person i am too but damn like she was just i don't know she just takes everything to heart and she was just so down on herself and i hated that for her because she she was a, a a beautiful girl her body was cold she had a cold body cold. loved it down but oh i just did not like how she treated herself sometimes you know what i'm saying i felt like she's a smart girl she knows what she wants and knows what she needs but she just takes the action of others down on herself too hard and i hated that clay i feel like he's a cool guy i feel like I actually do like them together. I think they would really be good together. But Clay should have told her ahead of time, like, I love you. I want to be with you. But we definitely need to be together for much longer and, you know, learn more about each other and each other's lives. Because, you know, before we actually get married. Um, also, with the whole work situation, um, I get it that Clay is a businessman, a working man, and, you know, sometimes he has, you know, business and clients and things he has to do and can't come home every night. I, I get that. But also, now that you're in a relationship, you need to figure out how you can get home every night. If you have to hire somebody to stay at those Airbnbs and those boat yachts and do the rentals and stuff like that, then that's what you have to do because you need to be coming home to your woman every night. Because if you don't, that shit is not going to work because she's going to be insecure and feel like you're cheating and all of that. Now, I do understand that there are um, couples that... You know, people travel for work all the time. You know what I'm saying? So you do have to have a level of trust when you have a partner that travels for work, you know, or cannot be home every night. So that is something that, you know, AD would have had to work on. Um, but Clay also could have been more, more, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like more attentive to his situation and his life and, you know, maybe hired somebody to do some of the things that he didn't necessarily need to do himself, if that makes sense. So, but, and then Clay with all this, well, you know, I'm really scared. I don't want to cheat. My dad cheated and blah, blah, blah. Stop using what your parents did as a fucking excuse. That's an excuse. If you saw your dad cheating and you know it was wrong, because regardless, you know right from wrong, period. You know right from wrong. So, if you saw your dad cheating and you knew it wasn't right, then don't do it. Don't use that as a excuse. Oh, my dad cheated, so I'm scared I might cheat. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here, Clay. Get out.
Like, stop. Just stop all of that. Like, people got to stop using what their parents did as excuses for what they do. Like, girl, no. No. Like, that's... If your, if your mama was smoking crack, you gonna go smoke crack, too? You gonna go smoke, smoke crack, too? You know what I'm saying? Like, what you gonna... Well, like, come on. Like, stop it. I was like... <sighs> yeah, Clay was just making excuses and clay is very much so a businessman full of himself um he was i feel like he was using that whole you know you helped me grow and you helped me i feel like she did help him but i don't know it's just something about him that i don't know now nah, she was like she can't see herself continuing to date him i respect that girl move around move around because yeah clay is just kind of in his own world and in his own bubble and he probably i mean he was right i don't think he really is ready for marriage he definitely wasn't married ready for marriage that damn quick but he probably ain't gonna be married ready for marriage for a while probably for a while he wants to still be the business guy and go to the bar and party with his friends and do all this and that you know like he he ain't ready and ad is ready so i feel really bad for what he did to her like because that was messed up that was really messed up i was actually shocked like i that was a shocker i did not expect that and usually i'm good with predicting tv shows and shit but girl I, that one got me because i just knew they was finna say i do and when he said hey baby i wanted to jump through that tv and tear that whole wedding up everybody in it i was so like i couldn't believe it i could not believe it girl okay so that's my two cents i probably got so much more that i'll be thinking about and saying after that watching that episode today but honey honey and people are so like the world social media and all that people are so pressed to feel like they have to be married to be complete um i do think finding your person is important i really really do because there is just something about having your person and that connection with your person your best friend like i can't imagine not having my best friend and my person like i you know what i'm saying but the the social media makes you feel like you have to rush into finding that and a lot of times like you can't find it. You're not going to find it. God has to bring it to you and he's not going to bring it to you until it's your time. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women are talking about how they can't find a good man. and then Sometimes it's not time for you to find a good man. Sometimes it's time for you to just work on yourself and find out what you want and what you like and what you need for you. So that when God brings you your man, you know that's your man. Y'all have a certain connection. You know what you want, what you don't know, want, what you will tolerate, what you won't tolerate. The red flags will pop up quicker. You'll be less likely to put up with red flags, etc. Like it's time to just work on you. You know what I'm saying? Take time for you. And yeah, it ain't it ain't always about finding a man. Like it it ain't. Now if you feel like you mentally, spiritually, emotionally, where you want to be um and physically too shit if you feel like you all of that where you want to be financially where you want to be and all of that and all you feel like now you just waiting on mr right then just pray on it and god will bring him to you and another good thing about this show is it helps people go for people that are different from what they would normally go for because you done went this is your type this is your type i don't have a type but if this is your type and you keep dating that type and it ain't working baby because that type ain't for you you need to find a different type you know what i'm saying <laughs> so yeah but girl i'm finna get dressed and go to lunch okay and i'm gonna talk to y'all later and make sure y'all let me know down in the comments how y'all felt about this season because girl and let me know what other shows i need to be watching because that just got me back on my reality tv kick honey i was like oh okay this was good so yeah let's go get something to eat Almost missing my flight today. I look good even though I feel shitty. I just got back out this way. You already got plans for the city. Call them off, cause you call them off for me. You're always going on and on. Got it all, ask me why I never leave. I don't go out much, but you should come through tonight. I'm chilling on the west side, boo. Call my homegirl, tell your best friend. Besides you, I'm alone, I'm all okay
conversation I don't want this thing to get me faded You should come through tonight I only kick you with a tie Cause they won't tell Cause they tryna live their best life Too on the low, on my own I'll be waiting Hit me on my phone, I'll be waiting Yeah, yeah Looking at you crazy, go oh, crazy Is that the I would take the pain away? I don't see that smile I made You already make plans that ain't we made Trying hard, I be trying hard to breathe Inhale, exhale, you just know what you've been doing to me Fighting me off, you've been fighting me off for weeks Don't leave cause I need ya But you should come through tonight I'm chilling on the west side Hey y'all, it's a new day in the vlog. So I just got off work. I did not put clothes on today. This is what I was looking like all day. And so what? I don't even care. I do not care. I, You know what? I know a lot of people come on here and they be like, I'm so sorry. I look crazy and my hair isn't done. And I don't have any makeup. And girl, I ain't sorry. This is what I look like. And this is what it is today. Okay. Period. So we got our HelloFresh um, in the mail today. Here's our good old box. I already put up everything in the box already. Just wanted to show y'all what we got this week. So this one is pan seared sweet soy glazed chicken. So it say pork on here, but you know, I swapped it out for chicken girl. So that's what that looks like. That pork is get. I don't know what that pork is looking like on that picture though, honey. Then we got some Southwest shrimp tacos. Always got to have some tacos or some kind of Mexican thing for Taco Tuesdays. Okay. Then we got barbecue chicken, bacon, and mozzarella flatbreads. Okay. think I'm going to like those. I don't know if I got this kind before. Probably not because this one has bacon on it. I don't eat a lot of pork. Every blue moon, I'll eat some bacon or some ham or something like that. But I ain't getting down with the pork chops and all that like I used to back in the day. But I will have me a little bacon, you know what I'm saying? And my son likes bacon. So, yeah, that should be good. Then we have the one pot Tuscan white bean chicken soup. So we just about just about out of uh, what is called uh, soup season, okay? Um, so I know for a lot of y'all, y'all done with soups. I get it. I mean, it is mid-March now, ain't it? But, girl, the way God got the weather on shuffle now, you know what I'm saying? It was snowing yesterday and it's supposed to be like 60 something tomorrow. So out girl, girl. And this is chicken snitch schnitzel. Chicken schnitzel with some um carrots and some potato wedges. So yeah, girls, this is what we got for the week. I um, I don't have to cook because I made a pot of pinto beans. Uh, we had that yesterday and we're going to have that again today. I just made some fresh rice. We still got some cornbread. So that's what we're doing tonight. Denise is not cooking. We are eating leftovers. The beans was schmacking. They were schmacking. I didn't have my turkey tails to put in there this time, but you know, I still finagled it. I still finagled it. Okay. So thank God I don't have to cook. Um, so I do need to clean up my beauty room. Like y'all, I just have been so uninspired. Like my creative brain is just not flowing in there. I need to clean up in there. And I just got, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with my content right now. I'm loving perfume, of course, but the game is just so saturated right now. And then like, I don't know where my perfume content is going because y'all know I'm like a niche designer girl. I like niche fragrances and designer fragrances. But that damn Middle Eastern lane done took over, honey. And I ain't mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Girls, get your coin. Girls, get your fragrances if that's what you into. But that's just not my lane. And I know what my lane is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to go buy a whole bunch of Middle Eastern fragrances just because they cheap and tell y'all to run and go buy them. And I ain't going to never wear them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just stay in my own lane. But my lane is hard because if I'm telling you, hey, this great $350 fragrance is available and I love it and blah, 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 but you can get 72 fragrances for the same price, Middle Eastern, I, you know, a lot of people is kind of going that way. So a lot of people going that way just, just because that's trending right now. Like, girl, I'm going to keep my opinion on that to myself because I'm just not a... Uh, go with the trend type person like oh you know what i'm saying like that's like if a high fashion girly so think about your favorite high fashion content creator 
and she notices that you know the walmart and the target halls clothing halls is going hard and everybody doing that she gonna then she's gonna go buy a whole bunch of walmart and target clothes just so she can be on what's on trend you know what i'm saying like no she's still gonna go to new york fashion week she's still gonna go to milan fashion week she's still gonna wear her high-end stuff and her audience is gonna roll with her so I don't know where my audience is at and what they want. If y'all still paying these prices, I mean, of course we be, you know, we love a good gray market price. Now, don't get me wrong. Now, you ain't got to pay full price for everything, but that's my lane, and I don't know who's still riding on the same lane with me. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna see. But anyway, about my beauty room, I need to go clean that up, y'all. I have a basket of empties that is overflowing and i gotta empty that and i'm like do i do a video for it do y'all want to see a video of my empties do i just throw them away i don't know y'all i'm just feeling very much so uninspired i don't know what to do like what other content do y'all want to see from me well probably vlogs if you're watching this vlog and you got this far in the vlog you probably like my vlogs but yeah girl i'm just like i don't, I don't know i don't know Maybe we'll just go upstairs. Maybe I'll do the video for y'all right now. We'll go up there and go through that empty, those empties in that basket. And I'm going to give y'all the tea and let y'all know if they are good or belong in the damn trash. Yeah, let's go upstairs, girl. Y'all, look at this basket. Look at this pole basket. It's folding. Look at the pole basket just full of stuff. Like, I can't even put nothing else in there if I wanted to. So... We finna talk about it. Should I pull every just pull one one by one out, or should I categorize them? Cause I need to. Should it be like all skincare? Let, yeah, let me do that. Let me separate everything, cause I know I personally like it like that. So I separated everything. I'm gonna go through this fast, you know, cause this vlog already kind of long. But if you like long vlogs, make sure you like this vlog, so I know y'all like long vlogs. Um, yeah, I'm gonna move through it quick so we can get through it because it's a lot of stuff. This is a lot of stuff, and I look and. Um, I haven't posted a empties video in like four months. So I guess this is four months worth of stuff. Girl, I guess. So we're going to move through this quick. Um, I'm going to start with fragrance. So we got fragrance, body care, skin care, and miscellaneous. So I'm going to start with fragrance because I know that's what you guys love. So I emptied, um, what is this called? Rouge. Rouge Narciso Rodriguez Rouge. So I really enjoy this. Y'all know I love this. Mm, it's soft, it's powdery, it's sweet, it's a little sensual. Like, this was just so, 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 so good. You can find this, I think, still on the gray market or whatever. I think it's discontinued. I don't know for sure, but you can still find it on the gray market. It's affordable. If you like powdery, like sweet, powdery, fluffy fragrances, then you would like this. If you like Poudre, you would like this one too. Dang, I was just going to throw everything in the basket, but I can't just throw this in the basket, so yeah so we got that we got devotion by dolce and gabbana so yeah empty this and i really did enjoy it it's a nice orange blossom sweet candy lemon orange blossom yeah this was really nice um i got a kind of a long list for the sephora uh sale coming up for spring so i don't know if this will be something i will repurchase but i would repurchase it you know what i mean like I would buy it again because it really did smell good great for every day running around great for bed all of that so i did like this this is swebbing by okcha and this was just okay like personally i don't think okcha um dupes are great dupes i think they smell somewhat like the fragrance that it's supposed to smell like but as far as like duping nail on the head type of feel I don't think they got it. I don't think they got it. They more like 70 to 80 percent or something like that. But mm -mm. so this is supposed to smell like Baccarat and mm -mm. I mean, you get the ba Baccarat vibe like, you know, it's supposed supposed to smell like Baccarat. But is it dead spot on? No, it's a little sweeter and a little denser and it smells almost like I don't know. I get like a cherry Kool-Aid type of smell you know how when you put the kool-aid powder in there before you even put the water you just got the sugar and then you pour the kool-aid pack on and then you smell the kool-aid powder that's i was getting that mm -mm, nah it's a no for me dog i ain't hate it but i just was like these just ain't the best dupes they're just not um casablanca so y'all know i got the extract so i wanted to empty the original so i can just use the extract this is something i, I just really wore to bed or layered it with other fragrances it's like 
uh, sweet Granny Smith apples, grapes, caramel, a little powdery salt. This was not beast mode to me. Like I hear a lot of people be like, oh my gosh, Casablanca is beast mode. It was not beast mode for me, but it wasn't like a skin scent either if that makes sense so it's affordable i think it's definitely worth the price it's a very pretty feminine sweet fragrance so i do recommend it this is a lipstick on by um replica this is a discontinued fragrance and a lot of girls was going wild about it like oh my gosh it just smells so good it smells like lipstick and all of the things and they were so pissed when this was gone <sighs> i'm not sure why um yeah it's it was okay it it does give you like that lipsticky waxy feeling it's kind of had a cherry-esque vibe to it um but it was a little too on the waxy side a little too plasticky waxy for me and less lipstick cosmetic soft powder like that's what i was looking for you, you i was looking for you know the lady putting on her deep rich red lipstick and she takes that big powder puff that our grandmas had back in the day and she do that on her chest with all that powder and it just smells sweet and fluffy like it this was giving me kind of like the wax lips remember wax lips back in the day the wax lips candy that was nasty as hell i don't know why people was eating them but yeah that's what this was giving and it's a no for me dog like if you want a lipsticky fragrance and you like that then try um creme akis by viva more that one is much better okay two more fragrances we got cure by Carna barcelona y'all know i got the big bottle so i had to finish this and i told y'all in my last video in my trade video that this is one of my favorite leather fragrances and i think it's one of my favorite because it's such a feminine leather fragrance to me to me now it's still unisex you know what i'm saying if you don't like leather mm, get a small bottle or a sample or something like that but if you are a leather lover i think you will think this is a feminine leather it's powdery it's soft it's just a Mm -hmm. it's like you mixed mm, narciso rouge or poudre or something powdery with a leather so i love it i personally love it it's not a beast mode fragrance it's more like not a skin scent but it's more like in your scent bubble and i like it because then the, the the leather isn't too aggressive because some people don't really like leather and then this versace this is the old fresh my son actually finished this so i just put it in here but y'all know when I did my declutter, I had a big bottle of this and I gave it to him because he really likes to wear this in the warmer weather. So the warmer weather is coming and now he can wear it. I think what he's wearing now is um, an Ocha fragrance that smells like tobacco vanilla by time for it. So yeah, he's been really liking that. So yeah, these are the empty fragrances for this empties. Let's move on. We're going to move on. Let's move on to body care, girl, because I got a lot of body care. Okay, we're going to start off with skin potion because I got a lot of skin potion empties. Um, so I've got these two body creams. This is Royal Sandalwood and this one is Coconut Milk. So Coconut Milk is a soft coconut, almost like coconut, like coconut milk. Just soft, creamy. Um, yeah, this is one of the more lighter scents. It's not like super duper potent. Um, their body lotions are definitely moisturizing. You'll have a nice radiance and sheen on your body. So, but I love both of these scents. I have them both in the butters and oh yeah royal sandalwood smells like a nice creamy milky sandalwood. It's not woody, it's like just enough wood woodiness in there. Mm, it smells so good it goes with so many fragrances that have sandalwood in them and then the coconut milk i usually use this with like um zadiga voltaire this is her or milk personal by um commodity so fragrances like that okay i got four body scrubs by skin potion so i have kama sutra y'all know how i feel about kama sutra i love 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 kama sutra i feel like i can reuse these jars but i'm not sure what for so i don't know if i'm gonna throw them away or not or clean them out and use them because I feel like I can use these, reuse them for something. But what? I don't know. Yeah, so Kama Sutra, y'all know I love this. It smells like roses and just, uh, it's so good. This is my hands down, my like absolute favorite. Oh, 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 oh. Like Delina Body Cream, who? Uh, girl, bye. This one is Ambrosia and this one is like a warm, fruity fragrance. Mm, like yes yeah, it's, it's like warm fruity not juicy light fruity like warm fruity like uh, what's a warm fruity fragrance um warm fruity like gossip night like 
Haley by Tiziana Terenzi, um, like Birth of Venus, like warm fruity, if that makes sense. Um, this one is coconut milk. Just told y'all how that smell. And this one is Seven Mile Beach. So this one does smell more light and fruity. This one, yeah, this one goes more with like light fruity fragrances. Like, um, 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 what would I pair this with? Um, more like Hundred Silent Ways. More like Nectarine Blossom, Honey and Blossom. Or what is it? Nectarine Blossom and Honey by Joe Malone. Um, this could go with like Talea, like you know, more light, airy type of fruity fragrances. So those are those. Then I have a couple of body scrubs from Dr. Teals. This one is the rose, and this one is the citrus. And Dr. Teals is okay. It's not my favorite, but I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. And this is just a nice soft type of rose fragrance. And this one is definitely giving oranges and citrus. Yeah, these are okay. I mean, I would. I don't think I would repurchase them, but if I was like in a bind and somewhere and I needed to just get a body scrub, these would definitely do. Girl, you would think I've been scrubbing my skin off. So this is by um, Origins and this is their soothing, smoothing ginger body scrub. So I have the uh, ginger souffle and I bought the gin, this ginger uh, scrub to go with it when I bought that to go with my ginger fragrances like Ani and you know, ginger fragrances. So yeah this was okay i wasn't in love with it i didn't hate it but i didn't love it it was just like okay like i really don't need this again it was it was okay it's it smells like ginger ale like a spicy ginger ale like this is not canada dry ginger ale this is verners okay this is giving verners yeah now this one by josie marin is it josie marin or josie moran i don't know but this is their argon sugar balm body scrub this was a no for me unfortunately because uh, i'm lying josie their packaging is always cute i love getting their pr but this one mm -mm, mm -mm. um it was kind of stiff and dry like i like my body scrubs to have like movement and oils in them and you know I, like i don't like it to be like so stiff and you gotta like shovel it out like i don't like that plus this did not have a smell it was unscent well it wasn't unscented it smelled like argon oil and it just was like <sighs> boring it was just boring like give me something give me some kind of fragrance give me some kind of you know but the fact that it was a sugar bomb like i did like that part like i do feel like it left like a you know nice oil on my skin locking in that moisture so i did like that part but it just wasn't ple pleasant to use as far as the texture and the smell so i'm gonna have to say no josie okay this is by happy place you can get this at walmart and this is their sweet almond and vanilla bean lotion uh this was okay it, it's not like the best moisturizer ever but for like four dollars like it was definitely the scent of it was definitely nice um it smelled like sweet almond and vanilla bean like it really did give the smell um this one was one of the most moisturizing ones from this brand so if you've ever seen it and you want to try this brand this one i feel like is the best one the other ones are a little more lightweight and watery texture compared to this one this one was a little thicker um yeah so like if i was in a bind and i ain't had no other lotion like yeah but am i going to repurchase this now then our uh sol de janeiro so i've got the boom boom cream the small little boom boom cream and i've got the 62 spray and the 71 spray now <laughs> How many times do we got to tell them to come out with a 71 body cream, body, uh, uh, what you call it, a uh, scrub, a uh, uh, body wash and all that in 71. They want to keep coming out with all these other scents and it's like, girl, even though y'all love the other scents, I smelled them in there and they do smell good, but it's not like, oh, I want to go run and buy it. Um, but I love using these like for bedtime and layering with other fragrances. Like, yeah, these are definitely cool for sure um i personally don't have to repurchase them but i would um yeah and then the boom boom cream honestly y'all i love the smell of the boom boom cream i just do it smells so good is it moisturizing and just giving you moisture to the gauze like the girls say no mm -mm, no it's not i buy it for the smell okay this is by native and this is the lavender and rose so i have um well i actually been using up my deodorants y'all had like 10 deodorants like 
girl why why do you have 10 deodorants that is so unnecessary but I'm, I'm i'm breaking them down girl i'm breaking them down this one is the lavender and rose and i like native i'm a native and lumi girl like native and lumi are pretty much the only um deodorants that i have been purchasing for probably a couple of years now yeah i think i just no i think i finished up a dove one like some months back but mm, yeah i don't think i'm going back native and lumi are my girls and then my uh necessary uh deodorant i use that at night make sure my underarms stay you know lightened as much as possible and yeah so yes highly recommend any uh native fra fragrance deodorant that you want um this is by connie cosmetics this is old packaging but they do still sell this so i wanted to still include it because since they do still sell this so this is the sweet cherry almond body butter so if you are looking for a cherry body butter this is it this is that tart cherry scent that a lot of us are looking for like you're not looking for a super sweet cherry you're looking for more like a tart cherry they got it so like that de degree tart cherry body wash this smells like that um this is by jergens this is the melanin glow they had um this one is in because they had two different shades um which one is mine they had two different ones so they have like a lighter one and a darker one you know depending on your skin tone which one you think will look better on you and i think this was the lighter one and I, I liked it it was okay it wasn't like super moisturizing it did leave like the the shimmer on you and all of that i didn't really see much of a like transfer on clothes or anything like that um it was okay i don't think i would repurchase it though because i just didn't feel like it just didn't have the moisture it was more just for the glow and it didn't smell like nothing it, yeah the smell just gave nothing yeah and the texture is so stiff and thick Mm, yeah i don't know it was just time for it to go girl so yeah would i repurchase it now um but this wild black cherry um by scent theory this is in walmart um would i repurchase this sure i think it's a nice nice cherry lotion i do feel like you want to put like a cherry oil with it to really make it boom but this was a nice like black cherry a little tart a little sweet and it's super cheap dr browner's castile soap will always have will always use like it's a staple in this household dr Bronner's like always gets the job done always use a bar soap or castile soap or something like that to deep clean your body before you use your body wash body washes are for moisture and smell do they clean your body yes they have mild cleansing properties but baby got clean got deep clean that body before you put that that on okay so dr browners yes 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 peppermint is personally my favorite but i also like lavender rose and almond y'all so this is by philosophy this is the lemon custard body wash yes <laughs> yes 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 because of the smell oh my goodness it smells so good it really gives you like a lemon custard you like smell the tart lemon but you also get that custardy mmm custardy meringue kind of smell and i think they have the recipe right here on the front i never tried it though okay we have this love beauty planet uh rose body wash this is the rose water and niacinamide this took me forever in a day to use only because i have so many body washes and i rarely ever just use the same one over and over and over and over till it's gone so it it take me a long time to use body wash anyway but um yeah but i put this in the shower so i can make sure i use it up because i had it forever and it's just a nice light light pretty rose scent it's not super potent it has decent moisture um would i repurchase it mm, probably not i think i'm gonna find me a rose body wash that i like better than this one this is by uh, La Roche Posay. Y'all know they send me PR, and their lotions are nice. They are nice, and they have good moisture. They're not like super moisturizing, but if you like, um, um, what's what is it? Uh, darn it, I can't think of it. It's on the tip of my tongue because my son uses it for his eczema. I can't think of it. It's not Aquaphor. It's the other one, Eucerin. If you like Eucerin um you would probably like this you know it's unscented but it has a nice decent amount of moisture um this is something i would put under a body butter um over a body serum stuff like that so i like it because it's just simple but effective 
So these are the Crest 3D white strips and and this is the Crest 3D mouthwash. Girl. Mm -mm. So I recently, like a couple months ago, not, well, has it been a couple months? I don't know. But anyway, I got my Invisalign off. So no more Invisalign. They took all the little nodes off and all the little things off and everything. But I felt like my teeth weren't as white as they could be and i called my dentist so i can get my you know annual appointments in they was like girl we can't get you in until june i'm like june child i need a cleaning like what are we doing here so i'm like okay well let me try some whitening you know what i'm saying and i got this um brand in pr called ollie and they have like this little chart where you can like look at your teeth and stuff like that and i was like mm, my teeth ain't giving and they had white strips the ollie um, company does and I was like mm, I'm gonna try the Crest 3D white strips that everybody be talking about and hyping and all of that and da, da, da. and I used them and I was like girl and used all of this and they are right but they didn't give me what I was expecting or whatever so now I'm using the Ollie ones and I'm gonna keep y'all updated on those because I have to wear them for 12 days in a row to really see some type of a difference and I'm on day three so yeah so those were mm, I wouldn't repurchase them lastly is this mouthwash by Guru Nanda um, I heard them talking about the pulling oil and the mouthwash on TikTok, so I decided to purchase them. Um, I did use all the mouthwash. Well, me and Dad both liked it because he didn't like that um, that Crest one either. Um, but yeah, we used this, and I like this one. I have repurchased it, so I like this one. Um, I haven't really been using the pulling oil. He's been using the pulling oil, but I haven't because I'm using the Ali white strips right now. So I just want to use those solely to see how, you know, how they work. So, yeah. So I'm not using this right now, but I did repurchase it. I'm just using the Ali strips and the scope because I want to see how those get down. So, yeah, but this I love it and I have repurchased it already. Oh, I got this mascara right here. This is uh by Essence, and this is their Lash Princess. This is the waterproof one, it's the blue one. And I just use this when I'm wearing um strip lashes because you always need to wear um mascara when you're doing your strips so that when you put the um makeup remover on it dissolves the mascara and your strips just glide off. If you are pulling your lashes off, girl stop you you don't want lashes you don't want no lashes like girl stop doing that okay y'all so we got skincare and we got uh miscellaneous so let's hurry up and fly through this okay so this is the uh dewy sunscreen spf 30 by nq list i did not expect to like this but I did. I did like this. This is affordable. I like the glow that it gave me. It meshed well with all my other products. Like it wasn't peeling. Like I liked this. This was good. This was really good and it's affordable. So if you are looking for a sunscreen, I do recommend this one. Now I'm going to tell you, keep it real with you. Now Black Girl Sunscreen is my favorite. That's just my favorite. And it, I ain't found one yet I like better than, well, I found one. <laughs> I found one I like just as much but yeah this this was good I would actually repurchase this I didn't purchase that that was sent to me but I would actually purchase that one this is by Aquel so this is a eye sunscreen so I know a lot of us um have problems putting sunscreen around our eyes because it burns so I saw this and I was like oh this is an eye sunscreen like girl and I saw the girls putting it on of course they were Asian girls and yeah it's a no for me dog like no girl so first of all when you put on sunscreen you need to make sure you put on enough right so you like kind of going around girl one swipe of this and you like uh-uh Girl, I put this on and even on my little light self, like child, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it ain't blending in. And then when you do, it look like you got a white cast under your eyes. Like it's, girl, it's trying to blend in right here on my hand. But when I put it on under my eyes, mm -mm, no ma'am, no. And I, so I did not even finish it, girl, because I, uh, uh no, it's a no for me, dog. It, it could just go. Um, this is the Dialba First Spray Serum that everybody hypes and loves. And they're like, oh my gosh, it's so great. It just gives you this glow and it's just, 
girl you know how much of it you got to spray to get the glow that they're talking about because i've had other facial sprays that was better than this i'm sorry this just was not that girl for me and i really wanted to love it like i wanted to love this but no no it, not, it wasn't bad but it just was not giving the glow the girl scream of unless you spray a lot I'm heavy handed anyway, but when I knew that I had to spray a lot just to get the glow they were talking about, I'm like, oh no, I can use some other stuff and get a glow like that, okay? The Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist, I can get that. I can get that glow with the, um, um, this right here by La Roche Posay, honey. Like, I can get the glow from that. I have the, um, the Caudalie spray. I have the, um, uh, glow recipe watermelon spray like it's so many other sprays so why they're hopping that one i don't know maybe because you can get it from amazon and the girls just want you to go to their amazon store i don't know but it's a no for me though it was okay it, it was not a bad product by no means but the hype wasn't real i'll just say that um so like i said this is a good spray by la roche Posay. this is their uh thermal spring water and this combination here ma'am their hyaluronic acid you put this on first and then you spray this on and let them soak in you'll think they want you'll think that it didn't soak in because you have the glow that you've been wanting it's so good so good like you won't even have to put on another serum honey it's so good so this combo highly recommend so this is by Osea. This is Ocean Eyes. So this was like a watery serum that you put on on your eyes. Um, excuse me, around your eyes before you put on your eye cream. This was not giving any more moisture. It wasn't. It wasn't doing anything. I would not purchase this. This was sent to me. I did not purchase this. This was sent to me and I would not purchase it. It just was unnecessary. It just wasn't giving me anything more than my eye cream like you know what i mean it was so watery it, it maybe if it was more like a serum or something i don't know but girl don't waste your money on this because this is expensive the glow toner by charlotte Dawn. um i like it i do like it i think it gave you a nice glow is it my favorite glowy toner ever no it's not but it's not bad it's not bad like i would i would purchase this little one again especially for travel i feel like it lasted me a good amount of time i do feel like it gave me a nice glow but it wasn't like oh my god i don't know i like it i do like it i do i don't want to bash it because i do like it but i'm not obsessed with it but i do like it okay the garnier micellar gentle peeling water so that's what this one looks like when it said gentle peeling on there i was like oh let me try that y'all know i like to try new products and new stuff you know what i'm saying i don't know how new this is but when i saw it it was my first time seeing it. i was like oh and it's gonna give you a little exfoliation okay you <gasps> yeah mm -mm. nope ain't none of them none of them better than this one N ain't none of them better than the blue one i'm sorry the blue one is that girl this is getting the makeup off it's taking off waterproof makeup like if you got a had a long night and you just need to take your makeup off and you worry about skincare all that in the morning this one honey this is the one this one didn't remove makeup like like the blue one it just did not it just mm -mm. so would not repurchase this however this i already have backup <gasps> period boo okay so the fat water by fenty i like the fat water i think it's nice it's moisturizing i like it um this is something that dad loves he loves fenty skincare anyway i think he just likes rihanna but yeah he loves it and it's good for people that just like to keep their skincare basic i haven't used the milky one but i do like this one um and yeah like i feel like her skincare is nice effective and simple so if you're looking for a moisturizing toner give this one a try the dynamic resurfacing facial wash by elemis y'all know i love this it's empty i have a backup and yeah i've been loving this for years i love it because it's gentle when you're using it but it is effective if you use it every single night um you may see feel like see your skin kind of peeling um and that's because it's really resurfacing and taking that first layer off I don't know if it was just in combination with other products that I use with this, but yeah, this is something that I don't use every night because I feel like it's gentle but effective. Dr. Dennis Gross Overnight Texture Renewal Peel Pads 
yes 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 anything that he does as in the form of a peel pad i am with it so yes these were good and effective and made my skin look flawless in the morning after using them so these are a yes 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 i will absolutely repurchase these on sale girl you you all already know how i feel about this like do i have to say it do i have to talk about it like do i i don't think i do because sk2 is a holy grail product i will never be without this i don't care how much it costs like i don't care now i do get mine from stylevana because it is more affordable there you know what i'm saying so yeah like you could save like a hundred dollars off a bottle getting it from korea however you're gonna wait about a month for it so you know time it right you know what i'm saying but girl yes this is always going to be in my skincare regimen like i just don't care like it's going to have your skin youthful radiant rejuvenated um it's just all of the things it's one of those secret secret products that's not a secret people just use it and they're like I don't think it's gonna do nothing you know it's watery they just put it on their skin it's like eh, i ain't really seeing nothing but the more you use it the more you will know that it is working and when you're not using it you will know that it was working too so girl top tier top tier holy grail um these are the double repair face moisturizers from la roche posay two of them are empty however I did not empty them. Dad loves this stuff. So yeah, they sent me these in PR. I did try them a couple times. I really enjoy them. I think they're nice. Um, you know, kind of thick texture, but uh, melts into the skin really good. Like the, these are good and effective and affordable. Um, but he loved them so much that every time I got one, I was like, okay, well, here you go. He can have it. So he emptied two of them. So that'll let you know that they work. Okay. Y'all this this is the city lips night oil by city beauty i have told y'all several times let me get a, some more out of here because i just put this on before we did this video because i just, i love it so much it it's definitely a oil gloss type of feel but it's not sticky it's not like this is a night oil like this is what i want but it's not just oil it's really like a gloss and an oil hybrid when you put this on your lips at night and you wake up in the morning, it's going to be on your lips in the morning. I drink water throughout the night and everything and it still be on my lips in the morning. This is my favorite Holy Grail nighttime lip oil. Like I love this down. I love it down. They say it's a night oil. I don't know why you can't wear it in the daytime, but girl, love it. Love it. Love it down. Let me show y'all how much I love it. Let me show y'all how much I love it. Here's one. Here's another one in this box. You hear that? Girl. So I got two backups because honey. Now they do send me those, but honey. Every time they be like, Denise, do you want to need any products? Yup, send me that lip oil, girl. Yup. So this one is empty, but honey. When I tell you I am scraping every little every little piece I can out of here no cap and they just had a 40 percent off sale on this it was like for two days and i'm so sorry because i did not tell y'all about it and i try to keep up with the sales and try to make sure that the products that i really love and let y'all know about them but that one slipped me that one slipped me i was busy that weekend and couldn't get to it but when it goes on sale again i'm gonna definitely let y'all know and y'all need to get this like period and people have come back in the comments like girl thank you so much for telling me about that lip oil because it was fire yeah so this is also by city beauty and this is their advanced retinol system i love this too i don't know why people don't talk about city beauty products i feel like they can be a little more diverse on their uh, instagram page now they can they can do that um but as far as their products go i can't cap i really do like them and this one i enjoy it's a two step so you put the uh, step one on first let that soak in a little bit and then put on step two step one is more like a um kind of like a thick serum and this one more like an emulsion and then step two is more like a balmy cream like girl love it down skin be looking good in the morning real good okay girl we got so much stuff okay this one is by image skincare and this is their balanced lip um enhancement complex this was good this was a good lip treatment for sure you can wear this daytime nighttime this is one that stays on your lips your lips feel good moisturized not sticky like this was really really good i should reach out to them like hey can y'all send me another one of them things yeah but this was really good 
This is the vitamin, vitamin C serum, 22% vitamin C serum by Neogen. I do like this. One of my favorite um, vitamin C serums. It doesn't oxidize super fast. Like, because some of them that I do enjoy, they oxidize in 2.25 seconds. Like, you literally can't open nothing else and use nothing else but that one. But this one doesn't oxidize as quickly. And I feel like it's effective. It always looks good on my skin. My skin looks healthy and hydrated when I use it. So, highly recommend this vitamin C serum. This is the Caffeine Eye Cream by uh, Inky List. This was sent to me and I absolutely need to repurchase this. Now this is not the most moisturizing eye cream out there, but for some reason when I wear this like 30 minutes to an hour after putting it on, I feel like my bags are like not bagging as hard. Like I feel like my eyes are more awake and more open. This is affordable. Like I will absolutely purchase this. I need to put this in my Sephora card as a matter of fact. This is the Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser by COSRX. This I love. This was one of the first Korean skincare cleansers that I had ever used back in the day when I started using um, Korean skincare, which was about what, like, hmm, how old am I? 44. So I started when I was like 37 or about to turn 37. So you just, yeah, you do the math. Anyway, so yeah, this was the first one and I would use this every morning and my skin just felt and looked so good. It was cleansed but not stripped. And yeah, if you are a Korean skincare lover, or you just getting into Korean skincare highly recommend this and I, I just I love it this is by Paula's Choice and this is the Pro Collagen Multi Peptide Booster and I feel like this was nice um but you have to you have to use it kind of quickly and I ain't gonna say quickly but y'all know how I am I open stuff I use it two or three times and I might move on to something else and then pick this up like three months later. So when I got back to this, it smelled a little like Milzu, okay? It did. It did smell like how y'all wash rags be smelling. Uh-huh. Yep. Put them, get rid of them color wash rags. Go, we gotta go all white, girl. Just go all white, I'm trying to tell you. But anyway, um, yeah, so it was giving a little bit of a Milzu smell at the end, but it is nice. It's effective. I feel like it made my skin look moisturized and soft and just, you know, had a little glow to it. So I really did like this. Um, they did send this to me. Would I purchase it with my own money? I don't know because I got so many serums like this, so I don't know. But if you're in the on the hunt for one, then try this one. Get it on sale, girl. Okay, this was a cleansing balm by Beauty Pie, and this is called the Super Healthy Skin Hot Oil Double Cleansing Balm. What part of that caught you? Like, ooh, hot oil, right? I know, girl. I was like, ooh. I saw Andrea Renee talking about it, and she was like, when you put it on your skin, it warms up. I was like, order like girl, it warms up on the skin, and I can't lie, it does warm up on the skin. However, don't 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 click the link don't click the link to try to order it just yet because it's still not my favorite cleansing balm because it's really really thick um it's not very pleasant to rub on it's mm, it's not quite as thick as vaseline but if you kind of melt your vaseline a little bit that's what it's giving mm, you know what i'm saying I don't, mm. and i don't think it remo mo removes makeup that well and for it to be a beauty pie product which i think they sell a lot of makeup on the beauty pie website it's like you would think it would be getting the makeup off like that no mm -mm. it was a struggle and it burned my eyes Mm -mm. so i would not repurchase this however any brands out there watching this and listening i know they're not but make a cleansing balm that heats up on the skin when you start rubbing it in i'm purchasing it girl just make sure it works good and the texture is right okay you let me call elements let me call them and tell them to do that this is the cookies and clean bye bye fenty so cook fenty done came out with the cookies and clean that's in the like the tube now and it's supposed to be a little more whipped and all of that so okay girl i would try it um i thought this was a nice clay mask i feel like it do does the job as far as you know kind of doing what clay is supposed to do and pulling out impurities but it didn't make my skin super super dry um which i personally sometimes don't mind if i'm doing a clay mask like i wanted to pull out everything it can pull out the moisture it can pull all that out because i'm getting ready to put the moisture back in anyway but if you don't like that super dry tight feeling after a clay mask then give this a try this is by Wishful and this is their Honey Balm Jelly Moisturizer. So I personally like this, but I don't think a lot of people like it because it does smell like lavender. 
it's definitely giving lavender it has lavender honey niacinamide and turmeric i like the texture of it. it was like a nice creamy kind of whipped texture and it has a iridescence to it so when you put it on it makes your skin glow like it does really give you a glow because it has an iridescence to it and so i really did enjoy it um their cleansing balm is really really good too i love their cleansing balm um so i will actually repurchase the cleansing balm but this one mm, not so much even though i liked it but it just wasn't like oh i gotta have it okay last four skincare products the magic cream by charlotte tilbury y'all know i love this this it's definitely giving smooth vaseline vibes and yes i love it to top off my skincare keep all that moisture locked in and all of that like yes this is a yes and i have a full full one of these thank you keiko this is by saturday skin this is their peeling gel and i was I like to use peeling gels on my face as a form of exfoliation. So if you never used a peeling gel, you put the gel on and you rub it in and you'll start to see like the dead skin cells kind of just rub, rub being like rolling and you'll like see them on your hands. Some people say it's the product rolling up. Some people say it's not dead skin cells. I don't care what it is, but what I do know, my skin feels softer after I use a peeling gel. Now this one was just okay. I tend to like Korean peeling gels better than this one, but I use this on my feet baby all pedicure people should be using this on feet like all people should be using this on feet so if, if y'all get this use this on your feet watch all of that stuff come off your next feet watch watch girl and i go get pedicure every month so if it came off of me it's damn sure gonna come off of you okay this is by um, misha this is their time Re revolution artemisa treatment essence so this is like mugwort essence it's good for anti-aging it's good for um it's like antibacterial antifungal keeps acne away and all of that so this is something i would you know use at night just top off your um, my serums with this do i like this absolutely like this um and i do recommend that you give it a try especially if you're looking for that type of product and last for skincare is this watermelon niacinamide sunscreen by glow recipe this is not even empty girl because this is just a hell no i have tried several times with this this is a spf 50 i wanted it to work so bad because i love so many glow recipe products but this is a hell to the gnaw every time i put it on it works with nothing it works with no products not even glow recipe products like i hope they discontinue this because it's freaking terrible okay let's get into the miscellaneous stuff so we can uh, go ahead and wrap this up girl these are by liquid iv um i actually purchased these with my own money this is the hydration multiplier so it has four strawberry four lemon lime four passion fruit and four tropical punch and i have really been liking these um are they giving me maximum hydration and electrolytes and all of that i think so i think so I feel like my skin looks good i feel hydrated when i use them and i already bought some more and then this one is the um powdered probiotic kombucha drink and this one is in this um flavor tart green apple so i don't know if everybody would like this one because it's tart green apple so you would have to like that but girl i drank some last night and when i got up this morning i had to poop okay i had to poop so it's, it's doing something and i already got another um bag of these too so i have a new bag of both of these and i like liquid iv so i need to call them and see if they'll sponsor your girl okay because i like them speaking of vitamins so i have my women's one a day probiotics i love these um i've told y'all in the past i'm one of those girls that i need a little help to make sure i go every day and these help when i don't use them i can tell i'm not using them because i ain't going the way i'm supposed to go so i like these and highly recommend them you don't have to refrigerate them if you're looking for a um a probiotic so yeah and this is um ultra biotin so if you take biotin i really like this one i remember i switched my biotin because i saw another girl using biotin and her hair was so long and so pretty and i switched to the biotin she was using girl my hair was falling out like girl i thought i was going bald and so i went back to my biotin and i like it now i haven't taken this in a good while because i'm taking some hair skin and nail peels and i don't need biotin overload or whatever so i haven't taken it, it this in a while but if you are looking for a biotin this is a good one of course i will have it linked for you oh here goes some more probiotics chat told y'all i'd be on the probiotics or so, yeah for sure so here's my chlorophyll i take the um mary ruth's chlorophyll this one is in peppermint and i think this is the only one they have i put this like in my water with 
my liquid IV and stuff like that. And I really don't taste the peppermint, but some people might. So just keep that in mind. Maybe you might want to drop it in your tea or something like that. But I love chlorophyll and I take it every day and I have more, of course. These are my women's one a day vitamins. I take these every single day. I like them because you just take one. Because, girl, I can't be taking two in the morning and two at night. And <laughs> Give me one, okay? And you better hope I take this. But I do take it every day. Love it. And I love those because they have iron. Um, so, me personally, I need iron, extra iron and stuff like that. But that gives me my daily dose of iron. Because a lot of women's vitamins or vitamins, period, don't have iron. So, that's another reason why I take that one. And these are by St. Tropica. And these are the um, their hair growth vitamins. Um, they have new packaging now. Um, so these are the hair growth vitamins that I've been taking. And do they work? Absolutely, they work. And just know that all the hair on your body is going to grow faster. Yes. If you have a dog, um, I highly recommend these. I get these from Amazon. And these are for Diego. These are the Zesty Paws 8-in-1 Bites, so it's a multivitamin, and that's why I like to give it to him, because it's a multivitamin, so it's going to help with help with hip joint, hip and his, his hips and his joints, heart health, skin health, gut health, immunity, antioxidants, liver health, and performance. It's in chicken flavor. He loves them. He's a big dog, so he gets two to three a day, but if you got a little dog, you know, they'll probably last longer for you, but yeah, and I noticed that, and he has more, and I need to order some more, but I noticed when he wasn't taking these, that's when he got that skin problem girl what we got here oh these are some vitamin c gummies by uh, rainbow light and i like this that they're just gummies chewable they taste good i tried some other ones they was nasty so i highly recommend these these were actually good and you can eat these i need to order some more and my protein powder i love this protein powder this is my favorite protein powder this is in vanilla bean and i just love this one this one is the superfoods and this one is my favorite because i be needing superfoods girl i can't get everything from my diet so i love to get um my protein and my superfoods this way and yeah this one is empty and i have another one downstairs y'all know i've been loving my coffee girl y'all know i've been loving my coffee so this is an empty box of the caramel apple pie um and this one is the intamins coconut cream pie so these are the empty boxes so whatever i have left downstairs in the kitchen that's it these are gone do i have another box of these i think i have a mm, i might not have another box of these oh my gosh i don't know i might have another box of these but i don't know but these are gone i got these from the grocery store and i would definitely buy these again both of them really i would buy both of those again so lastly, we have some candles. I'm going to move through these quick so we can hurry up. This one is called Welcome Home. And this one is Cinnamon Clove and Apple Butter by um, White Barn. Ooh, it smells so good. Highly recommend. Um, I know we're getting out of the winter season, though. So I don't know if they still have these. Uh, this one is Fresh Sheets. So I like this, but it wasn't giving the fresh sheets like I wanted it. I needed more laundry detergent. I needed more, you know fresh laundry fresh sheets this just smelled clean but it wasn't giving what i wanted it to give uh then i had this one this was called pure wonder i i can't can't really smell it now because i just smell the burn but i think this one was just okay i don't recall really being obsessed with this one and this one is hummingbird tea cake i think they still have this one this one smells really good Ooh, it smells like a cake a tea cake mm, sweet and mm vanilla like but cakey too at the same time so yeah hummingbird tea cake i do recommend this one this one is fresh amalfi lemon so that's what that one looks like and this was a no for me dog it wasn't given the lemon that i wanted yeah i wanted i wanted lemon i wanted fresh lemon house smell like pine salt type of you know it it wasn't giving me that it wasn't giving me that when you burn it it smells good like when you smell it right here but when you burn it mm -mm, it, it was it wasn't giving it mm -mm not at all honey this is amethyst dreams amethyst is my birthstone just in case you wanted to know <laughs> now this one just smells like a soft light floral so yeah speak up because i'll be having my mood sometimes i want to smell like food sometimes i want to smell like clean sometimes i want to smell like flowers you know it's just all about my mood and this one was nice it was this yeah this one was nice it was okay it wasn't my favorite but it was like a nice floral okay last three so this one was gingerbread bakery so you already know what that smells like it was cute but of course this is like one wick so this is something you would just put in a smaller room it didn't really do nothing for the living room uh this one is japanese cherry blossom 
and I would not repurchase this like it's just not strong enough it's or at least not for the living room this is something that probably needs to be in a bedroom or the bathroom it did smell like Japanese cherry blossom but the throw wasn't good and then this one is wild sand that's what that one looks like and yeah this one this one was just a fresh clean almost a little beachy but not too beachy type of fragrance yeah, it was just okay the throw on it was good though i wasn't obsessed with the smell but it did fill up the living room really nicely so i did like that okay girls those are all of the empties like yeah so hopefully you guys liked it because i feel like y'all the only ones that care about what i'm using and liking and not liking so yeah um i'm pretty sure this vlog is pretty freaking long mm -hmm. so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up this vlog up so if you like this vlog you want me to do more vlogs please like this and let me know down in the comments like you know what i'm saying what do y'all like to see in y'all vlogs too that's important too like what do y'all like to see um so thank you so much for watching this video please like comment share and of course subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next vlog bye